would and you untrue. Like, would you like to see Britain in some circumstances remain within a customs union and single market? My personal position is that I would certainly like us to remain within a, 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 a the single market uh, and possibly the customs union. When he says that Leavers did not know what they were voting for, he does risk sounding very condescending because we knew exactly what we were voting for. I think we all want to hear the result. The eyes to the right, 309. The nose to the left, 305. <laughs> And the House erupted. Well, we're joined now by one of those Conservative MPs who helped defeat the government last night, Jonathan Ginogli. Welcome to The Daily Politics. Hello. Are you proud of yourself, of what you've done? I think we did the right thing. Absolutely, yes. I mean, there must be a vote in the House of Commons or, uh, a, on a bill that will, dict that will look at the terms on which we leave. But Th this, by the way, is the biggest decision we've taken since the war. Parliament should look at these issues. Right. So... I just think we now need to stand back, let a bit of the heat go out and have a discussion as to the implications and how we're going to go forward. Let's have a look at the front page of today's Daily Mail uh, because you are there with your co-rebels, as I'm sure you've noticed, um, yeah. with the comment there, proud of yourselves. But are you innocent or guilty of betrayal? Well, again, I think, you know, there's a lot of heat there at the moment. I don't think we are guilty of betrayal at all. I think this is, this is we're going through a process. This is, of course, the committee stage of the bill. We still have report stage, and then it goes to the Lords. So, you know, we are engaging in the process. I would like to see the government engage somewhat more, but I have to say, looking at the, 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 the mail front page, and for someone such as myself, who this is the first time I have rebelled in 17 years in Parliament, I found it slightly over the top. Right. Was that your reaction? Indeed. So. Why does Bernard Jenkin called you a Brexino then, which is the latest name, Brexit in name only? Well, I simply deny that it's just ridiculous would you like, Would you like to see Britain in some circumstances remain within a customs union and single market? My personal position is that I would certainly like us to remain within a, 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 the single market uh, and possibly the customs union. But I don't want to anymore. It's simply Jonathan, untrue. You, you're misrepresenting this. The issue was that within the European Union, you have got virtually half of our net migration automatic. What we were arguing is that this parliament decides what its entire migration policy is. All right, I'm going to have to stop it there. I just need to ask you before you go, will you vote against the government's motion to write the date of departure onto the face of the bill next uh, week? I have already, because, of course, the debate on that has happened. Yes. Uh, and I spoke against it, and I expect the government to make a concession on that and hope they will. And do you think they will, Gisela? I don't know. Uh, Should they? Should they just drop that? Well, the, the, the real date is the end of the current commission, the end of the, the, the parliament. So I think there already is an end there. It, so I leave that to the party management. If, if of we were the, three the days party. before the, the, the date and we're just about to strike a deal and we need a few more days, we should be able to have Look, that flexibility. I have negotiated. They always strike a deal at the last minute, two minutes to midnight, whatever the midnight is. Right. But you are going to stick to your guns on that. I'm going to see how the debate develops on, as I have. Don't forget, there were some... 20 issues on which we've been debating. There's only been one rebellion so far. I'm very hopeful that we'll have a, a, a good uh, resolution on the date. All right. And just finally, was it reasonable for the government to sack your rebel colleague, Stephen Hammond? That's a matter for the government. All right. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Now, it's time for our daily quiz. And the question for today is...